Ah, conscious and coupling. The topic for this video is the relationship, the couple. The connection doesn't end when you uncouple. It simply transitions to another form. You are still relating to somebody. The relationship or the, the, the connection, the energetic connection that you have with your ex or with somebody that you have been dating or somebody that you have been married with goes on. It just evolves, it transitions to another form. You know, that person stays in your mind. They stay there because they are embodied in your past. They are embedded in the neural pathways that you have, the emotional associations that you have with places, with situations. So they stay active in your field, more or less, you know, sometimes more than, than others. But um, what's important to understand is that uh, the relationship evolves and that evolution can take whatever form you want. You know, it can become something that is really conflictual, contracted with lots of tension and pain. Every time you go and see your, your ex, you are going to be in this pain zone, like, you know, with anger and rage and frustration, undigested emotions in your system, or you can be in a space of spaciousness, relaxation, openness, the relationship doesn't end, it doesn't die, it just evolves to a new transition. And sometimes you might love your ex even more than when you were together. Sometimes there was so much tension and, you know, demands and pressure in the core of what you were sharing when you were together and then transitioning to a place where you're no longer primary lovers or partners might create a relaxation where you can re relate to that person again. You know, you might end up working together or you might end up sharing intimacy and sensuality in a way that is now sustainable and fun and healthy. So, you know, the idea that uh, the uncoupling process is the end, it's like poof, there is a crack and then there is just empty space. That's not true at all. There is a transition and uh, this transitioning to a new form, this new form that is going to emerge, can be consciously designed in the same way as you consciously design the couple uh, structure and the couple mindsets, the couple values that you function with. So in this uncoupling and in this transitioning, you're designing a new vehicle. In this new vehicle, you have to identify what are the core values that you want to have in there. You know, it might be respect, it might be love, it might be light levels of sensuality. You might even st stay sexually active with your ex. You might be in a place where you know, there is lots of openness, there is support for each other, there is tremendous care. Or maybe there is anger and tension and there is, you know, desire to fight with each other all the time when you, when you see each other. But the point is that that new vehicle that you start designing when you are uncoupling is something that you can do really consciously. It's really good to keep that in mind. I love you.